Hello and welcome. I am Only Juno and this is my crafty corner. Um, if you are a new viewer here, I appreciate you coming in. I hope you enjoy the video today. It is just a stitch with me. Um, I normally do floss tubes on Wednesday, but um, I'm kind of don't have anything to show. Um, I haven't done a video in I think it's been two weeks now. I think this is into the second week. I didn't do one last week at all. Um, I didn't stitch all week last week very much anyway. So, um, but so getting a little off track. Sorry. Um, so yeah, today is a stitch with me, um, and I will get into everything that's going on as I stitch. Um, if you are a returning viewer, I appreciate you coming in. I hope you enjoy the video today. Um, if you haven't, please, you know, feel free to hit the subscribe button so you can, you know, see my videos when I post, oh, yeah, the words, when I post them. And if you hit the little bell, it'll um, notify you anytime I post a new video. Um, like I was saying, I normally post two a week. Um, I was doing really good with it, um, but the last week and a half, of, <laughs> I have not, but um, things should get to where I'm back on track with everything, at least. That's my goal. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and start here. I am working on my Gecko Rogue, Rouge, Rogue say the name wrong I guarantee you um, I'm working on a 25 count two over one tent um, so far I'm loving it I'm actually finally getting into the design coming to life so actually getting into the picture of the wolf so that's kind of cool all right so first thing let us just kind of like start with life, I guess. <laughs> um, I have not, I did not set this up as a floss tube like normal because I have no progress really to show. Um, I think, I think I have maybe probably about. 60 about a hundred maybe 200 stitches in for the last week and a half um, I stitched a little bit each day while I was working but when I got off work I just Oh, never mind. Sorry. It was showing me. A, a, I was looking at the number because these are numbered. They're not DMC numbers. They're just uh, Rouge's number. But I have exactly 310 stitches left of this number. So I was thinking, it was looking at it thinking DMC number 310 and going, that's not black. <laughs> ah, yeah. We'll see how long this video is. <laughs> My brain's already dying. Um, speaking of which, I never told you all my details of the day before I get into my daily life. It is March the 9th of 2022, and it is 8.40 at night, and this is video take number two. <laughs> Not as bad as the last time I had a retake. Um, this one, I just wasn't getting the screen right, didn't look right. I wasn't happy with the way things were sitting. I had the camera, like, it was blocking my entire face. So I shifted things uh, over. So we'll see how it works. All right. So let us go um, into life details. Um, most of last week, um, the last couple of weeks have been 
um, dealing with getting my middle daughter um, set up for online schooling. Um, she's been having issues with her regular class plus working full time. It's just basically she gets off school at four o'clock and then goes to work at five and she has no time to play catch up if she gets behind on anything and she was just starting to stress about it and anxiety was taking over um so we started thinking about it and um i brought up the subject of her going into online school because we've done that once um for my oldest um didn't work out for the oldest but that was due to their social um, anxiety. They couldn't call the teacher to ask for help. My middle daughter has no issue with that. She just tends to procrastinate. But when she has a deadline, she normally gets it turned in by the deadline. She just likes to wait till that last minute to get it done. Um, so there was a lot of phone calls and paperwork filling out and talking to teachers and getting everything transcripts transferred and all that stuff. Um, as for, you know, my stitchy bug, I've felt the want to stitch, but I haven't felt like actually getting up to go do it um i would just basically i'd get off work go f fix food and lay down and start reading and uh i just like i'd be like ah i need to go stitch i'm gonna finish this chapter um and then i turn around and uh end up staying way too late and finishing the book. Um, I've finished more books in the last week than I have and I don't even know how long. Normally I've, um, normally I finish a book once a week. Um, depending on the size of the book. I don't read, I don't normally read every day but I do read you know two to three times a week for you know a little bit at a time but last week I spent basically almost every evening devouring a book there was one day they were they were only two three hour books but I have devoured three of them in the night um, just really didn't just didn't want to get you know just like oh I'm gonna read this book hmm I should get up and stitch I don't want to go set up my stand <laughs> so I just opened another book but I actually really wanted to stitch today I was definitely had my stitchy bug I stitched um all through work I got quite a, I got probably about a hundred and so stitches in during work today um, another thing is, is um, this week uh, Monday and Tuesday I was in the office so that was like I got some stitching done in the office uh, I'll show that. So I got that done in the office. So, I mean, I got some stitching in, but it's not a lot, you know? Um, this was what I worked on today. So that's about, that's about all I've got to show, Stitchy White. Uh, on stuff um 
I think I worked a little on one of my my um, my stamped kit because um, I went last Wednesday. Um, I went with my husband over to the friends, and we had a game night on Wednesday. Um, they're actually at game night tonight, but they're most likely not going to be done with the games until like midnight to one or two in the morning. And I have to get up at 630 in the morning or I have, excuse me, I have to get up at six to clock in at 630. So, um, yeah, I was like, I'm just going to have to be a party pooper. <laughs> But it's all good. They understand. They know that they don't have to wake up quite that early, so they don't have to wake up early at all, so they totally get me not going in because I have to get up early. So, um, I think another reason. Um, I haven't really been stitching all that much is I've had a little bit of depression. Um, finances have been a little tight, you know, things pulled that I wasn't planning on. So I've been trying to balance budgets. Um, I was trying to do, um, DoorDash to help pull some money together. Um, but the problem with that is with between gas prices going up and the app, the Bordash app itself having issues, it's just more of a hassle than it was worth. So I haven't actually been able to bring in any extra funds to help, you know, where I don't feel like I'm struggling financially. It's just a little depressing when you just struggle. Um, my middle daughter helps, but I don't like it. I, I'm a very um, independent person. I hate asking people for help. I hate it with a passion. I do it when I have to. But most everybody knows that if I actually ask for help financially, we're in dire straits. Um, Eowyn, my daughter, does it. I haven't asked her, but <laughs> the few times we've gone to go get groceries, she paid for them. Kind of like swatting my hand out of the way. So... I love her to death. I'm just glad she's, you know, able to help. You know, makes her feel good to be able to help us out, too. Um, it's not the first time in our life where, you know, things get tight, something pulls, and you're just trying to play catch up. Do Okay. I do not know if I'm going to have enough of this thread to cover everything I have the stitch. So we are just going to take it thread by thread. So yeah, I just, I take it day by day and go from there. Like I said, I haven't really, I want to, wanted to stitch, but like I said, it was just, I didn't want to get up. I was laying in my bed, reading my book, and I just, that's where I wanted to stay. Okay, so, let me do something here. Still this little petite needle I have to see if I can get some more stitches out of this thread. There we go. Well, I need like four stitches. See if I can get them. I don't think so. This is kind of small. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, 
Genau. Give me just a second. I'm playing chicken thread. Uh, is it chicken thread? Chicken thread. One more. And then. Yay! It worked. And I'm actually just going to do this one a little different than I normally do. We are going to feed it here. Um, we're going to feed it here. So it's going to be kind of a, um, a waste thread for me because I don't really have enough to pin it and I'm not going to flip it to feed it. So I'll just um, save this section here and the, I'll end up stitching over it. But I did get all the thread I needed. All the color I needed to stitch. So that is great. Alright, next color. Not that one. That one. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's, that's about it. Basically just trying to get back on our feet. Um, Still been trying to um, figure out, like, looking at houses. That's been fun. Uh, trying to figure out what we're going to do house-wise. And then a lot of the places that we are actually interested in have already got offers put on them. And we are nowhere near ready to put offers down. We're still waiting for a few things to drop off by credit. Um... So my credit score goes up here, no, here, yeah, um, we're waiting for a few things to drop off my credit, so my credit score will go up, so um, my payments <laughs> will go down, um, and we have a higher chance of actually qualifying for a loan in the amount that we can um, actually find something uh, because trying to find a four plus bedroom place without paying an arm and leg in a decent location is rough. That isn't, you know, destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Don't want one that needs a whole lot of repair. Don't want to pay an arm and a leg for it. Um, we're actually going to start out with the small one. I have not been paying attention to see if I've been blocking y'all's view. I don't think I have. I really hope I haven't. Alright, so I'm not sure if there's enough of this color to feed up into the other side, but that's okay. I would rather not have enough than to, like, have too many strands of the same color. I don't always remember how long of a thread I have, so I would rather be safe than sorry. Alright, um, let's see. So, um, I know I mentioned it, my middle daughter is starting online classes tomorrow. She has orientation, so we will... Hopefully that will turn out to be just what sh they need. Um, let's see. 
and then they go to work tomorrow evening as well but with them working from home it's a lot more relaxing than going into a school building for eight hours a day um, hold on. we're going to change this up this is just going to go ahead and be ended it's not gonna last any longer than what I have here so we're gonna go there here Don't do that. And then we're going to go down here. I've got three more stitches left in this square. So let's get these done. There we go. And then the final stitch in the square. I will just get a new strand and start up there with this one later after I finish this square off. Okay, so that is there. And now I did the loop finish and I'm gonna do a pin, a half pin stitch, I believe is what it's called. Come on. One bad thing about the the teats here, the tip is kind of blunt. Okay, go down, thank you, here we go, just needed to catch a little bit of fabric and it's good, do that, and snip that, and put it away, holy, I have been jumping on my treadmill a lot more. I've been doing it. I didn't do it today, but um, last week, every day at lunch, I went and jumped on the treadmill for about 20 to about 15 to 20 minutes each time. And then um, a couple times in the evening, I jumped on it as well. So, um, just trying to get back into shape you know I've let I've gained weight here recently and I'm not happy with it so the best thing to do is to start exercising um, basically we eat fairly healthy um, so it's not like I need to change my food or anything like that um, the only thing I've got to watch is portion sizes. Um, and I've been paying more attention to my portion sizes. Um, but with my husband being a diabetic, um, we basically, you know, eat on the very healthy side so that his blood sugar stays at a good level without um, too much hassle. Um, he is on insulin, but... Um, he, he's more controlled by food than he is by the daily insulin shot because his is a, a I don't know he, he gets one shot a day um, it's supposed to be a, an overtime insulin thing so uh, yeah do do <laughs> Um, so, you know, we eat a lot of chicken and, you know, healthy. There we go. And this is going there. Really not much left of that thread, but I can still get a few, uh, the, there's like two stitches left. And then it's done. So we'll just go ahead and leave it. Okay. Next color. All right. Um, I've 
basically talked about most everything I had thought to talk about today. Um, I know I have a lot of floss tubes to catch up on because I wasn't even watching my floss tubes um, at all. I normally watch quite a few over the weekend. Um, I didn't watch any floss tubes last weekend. I basically just laid down and read my book. Even all you know, all day. That was the day I read three <laughs> three books in the day. Um Sunday, um, I didn't go gaming. Um, because with me having to get up in the morning to go to the office meant I had to wake up earlier than normal. Uh so normally I can wake up around six and get, you know, get my desk ready and sit at it and get to work. But I actually had to go into the office. And uh, so with me having to go into the office, uh, I was not going to game night because they don't normally come home from game night till like one, about midnight to one o'clock. And I just was like, nope, I'm going to be the I'm going to be smart and stay home. <laughs> um. I think this is right. Where was I? There, there. And here. No, where am I? Give me just a second here. There's one, there's two, three. Okay, so yeah, it was here. Um, so yeah, um, I spent all day Sunday reading. Um, Saturday I finished three books Sunday I finished one but it was a um, larger book it was about six hours or more for reading on it if I remember right it's supposed to take six hours from what Kindle said um, But I did finish that one. Um, come on, let go. And uh, mostly my novels recently um, have been ranging from, they're all romance books, um, but they've been ranging from mafia to. Uh, Vampires, werewolves, um, you know, alpha type, dominant type things. Um, I, I don't think I actually have a, a set um, genre that I read. I just read what I feel like, you know. It's like some days I feel like... Um, billionaire romances. Some days I just feel like, um, you know, damsel in distress type books. Um, the, um, werewolf type books, you know. Lots of drama. It's always fun watching me read a book. Because if it's got any kind of sad spot, any sad part or super happy part, I cry. Can't help myself. 
And the bad thing about it is it can be a book I read before and I still cry. I start crying before I get to that part. Because <laughs> I know it's coming. <sighs> but that's just me. I'm like... I can sit here and think of sad stuff sad thoughts and cry um my husband and my kids like to make fun of me anytime we go watch a movie and it's got sad parts or happy parts in it they're always looking over at me like you crying yet <laughs> but that's just me i don't know i've always been that way Really sad parts or really happy parts? Well, sad part, it don't even gotta be really sad. It could just be a little sad and I'll cry. Don't know why, just do. All right. All right, we are almost done with this square. Um, I'm probably going to finish this square too. And then I'm probably gonna call it. I'm a bit tired tonight. Um, yeah, it's like 9.12 now. I normally crash around 9.30, 10 o'clock on weeknights because I just, I don't know. I don't like being tired on work days. If I don't get enough sleep, my work day just does not go well. I think that's right. I think I counted wrong. Hold on. Yeah, I'm in the wrong spot. Let me fix that before I forget. All right, so there is one, two, Three and four. There we go. Now it's in the right spot. Oh, don't do that. Thank you. All right. So that is all the parked threads. So now it's time to add threads. All right. First thing first. Let's do the weird little one or two stitch the ninja stitches i prefer trying to do those first um over last um because um i don't know i just I don't like waiting for the last bit to do the ninja stitches. I like grabbing those as soon as I get done um, with all the parked threads. Um, there are times that when I have um, a parked thread and it's going to take up 90% or a good 75-80% of the fabric. I will do all the other stitches before I do the parked thread. Um, I just like using the, the, basically I like using the stitches from the full strand of the, the, like the one that has the most stitches in it. I like using it to basically tack down anything of the, any of the smaller threads. So like, do this ninja stitch, park it, 
it or uh, end it then when I stitch my other threads they'll cover over it a little better sometimes yeah so basically this is just one stitch and then I get to arc and end Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna park you right here. Not park you, stitch, uh, pin stitch you. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I'm just going to reach under here. Make sure I don't have anything else in the way. And snip it. And put this back on the loop. 35 here and then what is my next color I will say one thing I really do like about parking is 90% of the time what you're working on um, like when you first start your square the way I do mine is I grab the lowest part thread so like in this but like if I was going to do this here my first one to grab would be this one because I get this thread out of the way it's done then I do this one get it out of the way instead of starting up here and then fighting my way through all these threads I just, I prefer to start at the bottom and go up on my stitching. Um, but, you know, everybody works their own way. And that's the one thing I love about cross stitch. Is that everybody has their own way to do things. It's just great. Um, I've been watching... Um, Everybody's been talking about the the Stitchy Mama, um, doing her doing the the keyboard, no typewriter, the typewriter method. Um, like I watched her video, and it's cool the way she does it. I mean, I I understand what she's doing. I myself wouldn't be able to do it. Um, I don't know. I like, I don't like cross country all that much anymore. I like the concept of it, but the closest I'm going to get to cross country is <laughs> little bitty patterns. My full coverage is no, I tried this one cross country. Like, I started diagonal, didn't like it, so I tried to go cross-country, and I ended up so off-count, it was retarded. Um, luckily, it was mostly just these blues, and, you know, dark blues, so you really couldn't see where I messed up at. But, yeah, no. Not happening. No more. Um... So, um, I do think that my next pattern that I start, I'm going to try to do more of a column type instead of diagonal. And we'll see how that goes. Um, no idea, but we will see. Because I've seen a lot of people do columns um, I'll probably do probably page by page column type thing. So, um, 